Are you a beginner or a senior? In this video, I would like to share with you our recipe step by step of how to make a V60, either at home or in a coffee shop. Hi, I'm going to share with you our recipe for making a perfect V60. All we need to make a V60 is a V60 filter paper, a dripper, and a V60 server. We're going to use our kettle for the boiling water and the weighing scale. For our coffee, we're going to use a ratio of 1 to 15. We're going to use 20 grams of Ethiopian coffee and we're going to extract 300 out. We're going to use a 94 degree temperature for our boiling water. So we start by folding our paper filter we, to ensure like it can fit in our dripper. We pre-wet our paper filter to remove the paper test into our coffee. It also helps to warm up the V60 server and the dripper. As the paper filter is wetting, we prepare our water. We're going to set our temperature at 94 degrees. This is the perfect temperature to brew our coffee. Then as the water is boiling, we will prepare our beans. For today's V60, we are going to use Ethiopian beans. We are going to use 20 grams of coffee. Coffee. This is the Geisha Village Ethiopia coffee. going to grind our coffee on a medium size. So we're going to use an EK43 for grinding our coffee. We're going to use a grind size of 11. So we grind our coffee. So we remove the hot water that we used to prevent the paper filter. Then we pour in our coffee into the V60 dripper. As you can see, it's 20 grams. We make it flat. We create a hole into our coffee for a better circulation of the water while brewing. So we start by pouring our first pour, which is 50 ml of water into the coffee and let it sit for 30 seconds. This is our brooming time. We swirl around the coffee a little bit to ensure like all the grinds are wet. So we wait until 30 seconds as the coffee degasses. At 30 seconds, when our brooming is done, we pour our second pour, which is 80 ml of water into the coffee. We like pouring in a circular motion for an even extraction of the coffee. Then at one minute, we pour our third pour also in a circular motion at the end of it we pour in the center i would like to explain something small about our pouring we pour in a circular motion slightly in the center not too much on the wall if you pour on the wall water always penetrates and uh, does not extract enough of the flavors from the coffee and if you pour directly in the center for your first pours, water also penetrates without extracting the flavors of the coffee. So, on 1 minute and 30 seconds, we pour our last pour until 300 ml of water. So, sit until 3 minutes, that's our top of brewing time. We've used an Ethiopian coffee, which is a medium roasted coffee. 
it has the flavors of the strawberry, mango, and it has a sweet finish. At two minutes, we swell it a bit to remove the grains which are stuck on the wall of the dripper so that we can have an even extraction. We can call it a flat bed for our V60. So, as you see, the water is getting finished uniformly. As you can see, all the grains are all packed together. This gives a well-balanced cup because all the coffee grains are extracted uniformly. We swell our coffee to ensure it has a uniform taste. Then, as you see, our V60 is finished and ready for serving. As you have watched the process, we've used 20 grams of coffee and we have extracted 300 grams of coffee out. We've used an Ethiopian coffee, which is a medium roasted coffee. It has the flavors of the strawberry, mango, and it has a sweet finish. So, thank you so much for watching. For, for any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Finish.